This is a short video introducing you to the iFit Report project. Report stands for Rapid App Prototyping and Open Innovation Resource Toolkit. The aim of this project is to introduce iFit members to the opportunity to build apps for their research projects or for educators of iFit um, who can then use the platform to teach students um, about some of the challenges and the benefits of using uh, apps. So information about the iFit community can be found here at the Learn More section. You can contact the iFit Report project by clicking on the Contact Us for More Information button here and you can learn more about iFit in general by clicking here. This website has several features. On the Process tab you'll, you'll be able to see what's involved and you can watch this video. Um, on the features, you'll see all of the different features that are available on this platform for use in developing apps. These are um, features which we will look at in a second when we log in. And this is the login tab. Um, the community is where we hope that people will engage with the project, suggest ideas, do some blue sky thinking and let's look for some innovative um, applications for research. There, there's possibility of up to 20 applications being live in this innovation project. Um, other help is available here uh, which is the general FAQs in relation to the platform. So let's just log in and take a quick look at one of the apps. Ulster University students have built an app called You're Hired for an event um, on the 7th of April. I'm just going to log in with the details to have a look at the back end of this platform. So what I would highlight to you firstly is that we have all the functionality tabs are contained uh, in this tab when we click onto it. You can add a new tab and the various functions of these tabs are, are listed on the right hand side. To make a, a tab live you just uh, can make it active by clicking on this button and it will appear green on, on this side. And you can deactivate that uh, functions and they can still be, be available at a later point. So tabs can be added here. Content, so the specifics of what's actually contained within those functions. For example, the location data, um, which is very useful for helping people find, say, the, the like of this conference. Or if you wanted to put in event information, you can add events. Um, and you can also import events, for example, from Facebook. Um, if, if you wished to um, centralize um, all of your information. You can add other features as well. Also, the appearance of the app. There are various uh, changes which you can make to that. And these appear in this section. So there are the, the, the settings and the background images themselves. And the images are linked, for example, to sliders. So when you when we go over to this side of the screen, I'd like to just show you that you can preview the app from in here. It's currently showing a mobile website, which is also a feature of this platform. So you need to click on mobile app and then on preview app. Um, and by the way, there is a preview app which you can download onto your mobile uh, device on iPhone or Android. So what, what, what you can see here is, is basically the, the slider image is working um, and simply they're presenting the speakers. But these could be full screen if you chose. Um, there are a number of different designs that you can have. What I'd like to look at now is, is how you would see the features within this particular setup. And there are different, basically different uh, setups that you can put into place. But again, um, I would look in the help section for more details on that. If we wanted to have a look at, say, um, a, an email or sorry, a, a custom form, you can develop custom forms that can request information from app users. So, in this particular example, when it eventually loads, um, it will be looking at an inquiry about the conference, possibly, or maybe for exhibitors or various other things. So, people would just click and add their data. And, and send it off. So um, there's lots to explore and lots of potential with the platform and uh, we hope you'll engage with it um, and certainly at least uh, join in the community conversations and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.